Good morning, everyone. My name is Maria Schonenberger, and welcome to my studio in Las Vegas, Nevada. Today's video is going to be dedicated to all of the artists at the Arizona Society of Glass Bead Makers. The ASGB is currently running their September Beadathon for Beads of Courage. So I wanted to say a big welcome and a big thank you to all of the lamp workers out there banging out the beads this month for Beads of Courage. Let's get to work. Today's bead is named Gail the Snail. She's a happy little girl. I started out with any base color that you want. I'm going to start out with this pea green. And then we're going to go ahead and make her coil shell on her back. I've got a pretty colorful one here of orange, cobalt, periwinkle with some little green stripes in it. I'm using sage for her body and her little ten antenna eyes. Um, so I do have a hand-pulled stringer of the sage as well as a rod. And then I have black for her little smile. And I'm going to give her some little cheeks of, I think this is an orange. So let's get started on Gail the Snail. Okay, I have started off with the barrel bead. It's six wraps across by about three wraps high. And I'm going to mash this into a square, hopefully. <laughs> um, a lot of times when I make this bead, I use my oval lentil or my one inch round lentil. Um, but I do want to make this video showing you can do it by hand. You don't need a lentil press. So we're going to heat up this barrel bead. I've got my monster mashers ready to go. And let's give it just a gentle press, not a big press. I think that's pretty good. That's a good start. Let me see if I can get a little more press out of it. It's okay to press a couple times. Press until you feel you have the shape that you like. You don't have to be perfect. It's not a mistake. <laughs> there we go. Okay, that looks like a good square shape to me. I'm gonna crank this puppy up a little bit. I like power. Let's go ahead and flash out all the tool marks on the face of that bead. And I always use my press to kind of square up sides a little bit if I feel they need a little touch up. Go ahead, pay attention to the back. Get out the tool marks, square it up just a touch. I think that looks pretty dang good. The holes look good, nice and smooth. Alrighty, time for her coil. Now I'm gonna go ahead, I heat up my, um, my twisted cane. And if you guys don't know how to make twisted cane, I do have a video on my YouTube channel, how to make twisted cane. Um, or if you still don't want to make twisted cane, you can always use a rod of color. I mean, I think that Gail the Snail looks great with like a red shell or a green shell or a blue shell. Anything colorful would work. All right, I got my cane heated up and now we're going to start the spiral. And I always start from the inside and then work my spiral coil out to the outside. So just going in and out of the flame really slow and I twist my cane to the right as I'm coiling it. So and the reason I do that is I don't want to unwind my twisty cane. So that helps if you twist it while you're laying it down it won't uncoil and you'll get coil stripes instead of straight stripes. And I like to put down a lot of coil and that looks pretty damn good. So I'm just gonna pull it off. And I got my dental tool here. Let's press it down just a tad, especially around those edges because I don't want anything popping off. 
And when I press down on a twisty cane, I press straight down because I don't want to distort the stripes. Oh, this is going to look good. Okay, I think that's great. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on her body. So I grab my sage and I'm just going to heat up a little bit, just a little gather and work from the bottom and just drag it up the top about halfway. So that way she, it looks like she has a little neck. It's kind of a triangle shape. And I'm going to press that down a little bit, just like so. So it looks like she has a little triangular shape body. Just like that. Now, I've got my really skinny stringer, and I'm going to work from the top of this um, body. And I'm just going to drag out two antenna. Just like that. Because they're going to go under her head. So two straight lines of, of the sage stringer, just like so. And now, now that we have the antenna, we're going to put on her head. I know it looks like she has a little teeny tiny head, but that's not her head. That's her antenna. Okay, another gather of the rod of sage and just a dollop right there at the top of her body the base of those antenna, and then I'm taking my press, the side of it, I always use my press, and just smooshing it down. She's a little lopsided here, but that's okay. Let's see if I can smoosh it down a little more. And give her a nice little head, just like that. Cute. Okay, now for her eyeballs. I have a little bit of white here, and I'm gonna put one googly eye on top of one antenna and the other googly eye on top of the other antenna and take my dental tool and just press those eyeballs down flat there we go and now I'm going to take my black and give her some little pupils inside those googly eyes There we go. And let's press those flat. All right, now her little smile. This is where your stringer control comes in. I'm turning down my torch. Let's see if I can do this. I got a little gather on my black stringer. I'm gonna set it down and just give her a little smile. Just a little U shape. And of course, go in with my dental tool Press that smile down. We don't want any smiles falling off during this. And then the final step is I have my little orange. You could use pink or coral or anything you like, but let's just give her some little flush cheeks, flush little cheeks and push those down. And that's it, you guys. That is Gail the Snail. <laughs> She's a happy little girl, and I'm sure she'll make a lot of little kids happy. I hope she made you happy. Have a great day, everyone. Go forth, create, and I'll be back soon. Bye.